All right. 2.23 in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon, December the 18th. Potentially the day that my son is going to be born today. Uh, at about 3.30, my wife's got to call the hospital, find out what time she can come in. That's either going to be like, you know, soon or a little bit later on this evening. And they're going to have her induced. And then hopefully my son is going to be born. And hopefully this is going to be just a really okay process. Not going to lie, the nerves are really starting to get to me. It's almost like we're getting ready to take a flight somewhere. That's what it kind of feels like. We're doing all of this preparing, but I know what we're preparing for is something that we cannot be prepared for, for be prepared for at all. This is not the video that I was planning to share with you. There's two days at least worth of vlog footage that I wanted to be able to share here on Joe Does Stuff, but unfortunately I've had to put that on hold for a little while because I don't want to share one particular thing that has taken place. Now it's nothing too bad. It's certainly nothing to worry about, so to speak. Um, no drama with like my workers or anything like that. Like nothing. It's very crazy. That's what I can tell you. It's a about as crazy of a situation as you could possibly even think and you couldn't even imagine this but it's been decided to just hold tight with this particular thing because I absolutely go in to the max because of this situation that is still ongoing and I guess that's another reason why I've decided uh, to go with a video like this versus going back and trying to cut an entire beginning out of a video which then there would be no premise to the to the video because well the rest of the video you know, I talk about that whole situation throughout it. Anyways, I, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time, like, giving you a bunch of indirect mystery. There's been some pretty crazy things that have taken place as of late, and it's just crazy how it happens all around the time when my son is getting ready to be born. In fact, to go even further... Literally, as I'm setting this video up, getting ready to film this, trying to have a video that I can share with you guys to update you on what's going on, just so I can fill you in as much as I possibly can, there's more developments with that situation that are just even more crazy. But I can't go any further with that right this second. Trust when I tell you, I will soon, I'm sure. What I did want to be able to tell y'all is that I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. A chapter that I know absolutely nothing about children. An entirely new responsibility. And one that I, I welcome. I cannot wait to meet my son. I cannot wait for my son to meet the world. I worry about that quite a bit. This is a crazy world that we live in. And I just want to do the best that I can and be the best father that I can be given the life that I have lived, given the shit that I have been through, and hopefully do it better for my son so that he stands the best possible chance that he can in this crazy world. Can't wait to meet him. And I might be very soon this evening. And even though you have no idea about the situation, that's all we'll refer to it as right this second, uh, let it be known that this is such a crazy, negative situation taking place at the same exact time as this unbelievably most positive thing possible, my son getting ready to be born. The timing could not be better. And I mean that, you know, sarcastically. But I guess that that's just like life, you know? People have kids in way tougher circumstances than, you know, what me and my wife are getting ready to go through, hopefully. And, you know, it's just going to be something that we'll have to circumnavigate together, my wife and I. That's the most that I can tell you in 
relation to the situation. It involves my wife and I, um, but nothing, you know, involving her and I like to get, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, so some other things to share with you and just some mindless chit chat. Okay. Cause I need to get my mind, uh, you know, I, I don't know how to even explain like what I've been going through today. It's kind of like, this is the last day of the rest of my life. Um, the last day of a life that I have known thus far up into a totally new life that I'm getting ready to meet today and be fully responsible for. Uh, you know, so I've been just trying not to stress and trying not to deal with like anxiety or anything like that. So I've been finding myself like working on tons of videos and, you know, hey, I got, I got a new microphone right here. I don't know if the sound quality is any better. I got this Rode NT1A. I got two of these things if I ever decided to you know, get back into ASMR. Boy, do I got the microphones to be able to do it. But I got these also just because I want to be able to step up this video quality, not only here on Joe Does Stuff, but also getting back on After Prison Show. And you know what? Maybe it's, you know, important that I'm getting back on After Prison Show as well because of the situation. Again, that's all I can share in relation to all of that. And trust, I wish I could just spill this whole can of worms because I've already done so in a video, and when I tell you that it's crazy, I, I don't think that I've mentioned that. I've also been flying my little drone, my little DJI um, Mini 3 Pro, and you know I've been capturing some really cool footage. I've got a new Joe Does Stuff Investigates video that's you know already been filmed pretty much. I just got to narrate it again with these microphones. That's going to be part of that. Hopefully helpful with that as well. And I can tell you that today... And yesterday were really crazy days outside of the situation, which actually which actually began a few days ago. Mind you, like I said, I've got about two days worth of vlog footage in the Bammer that I wish I could share with you, but now is definitely not the time. Um, but these last two days in particular have been really crazy. We went to, you know, our little pizzeria, neighborhood pizzeria last night, got the worst service in the world there. And you know, I'm starting to see like I like life is so much bigger than these situations and I didn't react. Of course, I was, you know, aggravated about the fact that my wife couldn't get her order. This was, it felt like our last meal. You know, my wife wanted to eat this Philly steak and cheese pizza. She gets the same thing every time that we go there. We go there at least like once a week. Um, and this waitress just got the order wrong like three times. Three times they brought my wife the wrong food. And I wasn't snappy. I wasn't shitty. I just said, hey, just get the food right and put it in a box so we can go. I'm not going to sit here and eat my food in front of her when she doesn't have her food. And I felt like I handled that situation well. And I wanted to be able to say, hey, look, Joe, you're already showing growth and you're not even a father yet. But damn it, you're about to be one in like a couple of hours. And then today we went to Jimmy John's for lunch. And it's just a neighborhood Jimmy John's, you know, the services fine in there. And there was a lady and another lady in front of us with a small child. And, you know, the small child had his bag of chips, had their his bag of chips in his hands. And, you know, the lady kept trying to say about this particular coupon. Hey, I've got a coupon. I got this coupon. I got this coupon. It says right here. And I guess there was some big misunderstanding about the coupon because the restaurant was saying that they couldn't take the coupon. It wasn't ringing up. So maybe the coupon was invalid. Who the hell knows? The lady was like, yo, it came to my email. Like, how could it be invalid? And they were like, I don't know, but the joint's not ringing up. And the lady snatched the bag of chips out of her kid's hand, put them back, and they stormed up out of there. And I thought to myself, damn, that was uncalled for. And if I was in here with my son, I'm not going to be snatching chips up out of his hand over a stupid fucking coupon. I should have I should have done like the uh, the Secret Santa thing, the, the white elephant, whatever you call that. I'm like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, I'll, I'll just go ahead and pay for your food. If I would have been thinking better of it, I would have done that. It really wasn't as big of a deal, but for whatever reason, I'm extra perceptive of things right this second. And I guess I know exactly why. Because I'm on the cusp of fatherhood. It's like I'm a butterfly right now. I mean, a moth. Wait, a caterpillar right now. Getting ready to come out of the cocoon and spread the wings into fatherhood. And that sounds a little tacky, but um, it's one way to describe it for sure. I hope everything goes well with this. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous, quite a bit nervous. I'm sure my wife is as well. We have no idea what to expect. I don't think anybody 
has any idea what to expect. Bringing a newborn into the world, a first time parent, especially in a world like this full of so much sickness. We were in Target yesterday and I'm seeing you know people in there with infants and these infants are completely encapsulated. And that's how you have to keep them. And that's how we're gonna keep Liam. Keep them healthy, keep them away from people. I told my wife yesterday, I said, when I come in, you know, every day, I got to decontaminate before I even go near them. And anybody, you know, hardly anybody is getting near this, this boy. You ain't getting in his face. Not in this day and age. Ain't that crazy? I can't wait to meet my son. And even in the face of ad adversity, because that's certainly what this situation is. It's most certainly adversity at, you know, best described. Like, I don't even care, right? Because it's so much bigger and that is so trivial in comparison to this situation. My son getting ready to be born, not the other situation. I don't mean to confuse you. I'm not going to make this very long at all. I just wanted to stop in here and say, hey, there's videos that I can't share with you right now for good reason. Trust when I do share them or, or prepare to share them. I'll fully fill you in on why we had to wait. But the most important thing is, folks, we're getting ready to be going to the hospital and we're going to be coming home with a new member of our family. My son, my legacy, my offspring, my mini-me. Can't wait to see what he looks like. Can't wait to see his look when he sees things for the first time. I'm ready for this. I think I am. Anyways, that's it. Trust me when I tell you there's a whole lot more. I got a video coming for After Prison Show this evening as well. I want to thank you in advance for any well wishes and kind words. And I'm going to look forward to sharing more with you just as soon as I possibly can. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.